guys, and welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Today's video is on Ace Fraley of KISS. It's actually on KISS itself, the band itself. Uh, my first album, my first rock and roll album was KISS Destroyer. And my grandmother actually bought it for me for Christmas. Uh, she wasn't none too pleased when she saw the cover. But anyway, uh, Ace Fraley's worst Destroyer moment with Bob Ezrin. Take a look. Ace Fraley said it took him years to get over being replaced on four tracks for Kiss's 1976 album, Destroyer. Despite that, he said he normally got on well with producer Bob Ezrin, whose strict work ethic uh, had come as a challenge to the infamously unruly guitarist. The session saw Ezrin shouting in Gene Simmons' face for take, giving up on a take without being told to, wearing a coach's whistle. And as Paul Stanley reported in his memoir, Bob made a point of letting us know who the, was the boss. Uh, he told us uh, we didn't know anything. Worse for Fraley, the producer brought in Alice Cooper's guitar band guitarist, uh, Dick Wagner, to play guitar on the track Sweet Pain, Flaming Youth, Great Expectations, and Beth. Uh, people don't always say as much, uh, but me and Bob Ezrin got along most of the time. Fraley told Guitar World in a recent interview, but sometimes I showed up late because I had a hangover from the night before. He admitted. Uh, everybody knows I was an alcoholic. Luckily, I just celebrated 17 years of sobriety, but back then it was different. He described Ezra as a guy who liked to get things done quickly, but suggested it was probably because he had a mountain of cocaine and a bottle of Remy Martin on the mixing desk with him. But of course, Paul and Gene never mentioned that. Rayleigh co confirmed that he had been told about Wagner being brought in and only found out once the record was complete. I was told Bob did that because he felt my solos weren't as great as they should have been. But it was more about punishing me for not being on time. I see it was partially my fault, but also partly Bob's fault. Uh, but the time that bothered me most was that I wasn't told he was placed my solos. I had to find out after I listened to the record at home and on my turntable. Uh, that bothered me for a long time. <clears throat> I don't understand how it's his fault, Bob's fault at all. Uh, Ace was hung over, didn't show up. His solos didn't work for him. But on the other uh, side of the coin, Destroyer album as great as it was. Uh, Flaming Youth, Sweet Pain, uh, Great Expectations were probably three of the worst songs on the album. And probably shouldn't have been put on that album anyway. I just didn't like the song. They weren't, they didn't come up to the, to the level of, uh, Detroit Rock City and so forth, and King of the Nighttime World and all that. Uh, but that's just me, what you guys think. Uh, and Ace likes to complain. Um, to just get himself in the news, man, that's all. And good for him. That's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Please check that out. Please subscribe. Please like this video if you don't mind. And please subscribe here. You guys have a great day. God bless. I'm praying for you.